Cheryl, Hannah, is that you? Very funny. That voice, Ellen Grant. <laughs> Who's Ellen Grant? Oh, this girl I knew with a tremendous voice. Hi. Hi. Have a seat. Have some nice tea. No, I just, uh, just dropped by to tell you something. What's that? Well, you are looking at somebody who is gainfully employed. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> No, you remember on the cheat line, the kids would just ask around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I asked around Mary's place. They said they needed a waitress, and so, ah there you are. Wait a minute. I thought you didn't want to be a waitress. You wanted a job that challenged yeah, you. Yeah, but when you're a klutz like I am, I mean, this could be a real challenge. Uh -huh. Yeah, besides, rumor has it, you are not supposed to drop or spill food on the patrons at Mary's place. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's a really classy <laughs> joint there. <laughs> so you're going to be a waitress. Well, huh? that's where my work experience is. Besides, you know, I realized I'm going to be working with the public. It's a, a growing industry, and Cheryl told me how much I'd be making in tips. Oh, oh so the challenge went out the door, and the old bucks came rolling right, in. Right, huh? I am a material girl. Do you get to wear those uh, big shoes with the rubber ridges on the bottom? Matt, that's not nice. No, you are supposed to be a friend, and you're supposed to say, that is great, Tracy. That is great, Tracy. Great. Good. <laughs> uh, you're going to be working for Grandma. Yeah, only a couple of days. It, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to be a totally different person. You're going to be the best waitress you can ever imagine you because know, you don't have a choice. It does have its advantages. Yeah, like what? Well, now that I am um, financially independent, uh -huh. I could, um, you know, ask someone, you know, if, um, if they'd like to go to the U2 concert with me next week, my treat. Yeah? Who would you ask? You, sir. <laughs> you want to go? Yes. My treat. Yes, I want to go. It's going to be great. Yes, it will be fun. It will be fun. We'll go out to dinner before my treat. Okay. Because Kevin, he loves this rip place up on Route 36. I don't know why, but he does. Kevin? Yeah, we'll ask him to go out with us. Great. We'll double date. I mean, oh, there's only one problem, though. If we do if we double, then he needs a date, too, right? Well, guess he can't go this time, huh? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. Oh, I got a girl for him. And if she looks half as good as she sounds, he's been for quite an evening, believe me. Yeah, this is very, very, very important. I'm sure it is, but the rules are very clear. Look, I have to talk to this girl. I can't just wait on this line forever for her to call in. I'm sorry. Oh, can't you call me when she calls in? The teen line is completely anonymous. You were told that when you called the first time. Yeah, I know, but this, see, this would be different. I mean, you would be calling me. Well, then you wouldn't be anonymous, well, would that's, you? That's all right. I don't care to be anonymous. Everybody can know I'm Matthew Corey. Stupid rules. Can you believe that? I mean, what a bunch of junk. Oh, the phone line's completely anonymous. It's not like I want to kidnap her or something. I just want to ask her out. You want to ask her out? For Kevin. I want to ask her out for Kevin. You must really love Kevin. You know, you're eating all my potato chips. No, I mean, you're working really hard to find him a date. Yeah, well, she sounds like a nice girl, so I thought, you know, I'd hook him up. must. I mean, put you through all this, it's... What do you mean? I'm, I'm fixing Kevin up. He wants to get fixed up, so I'm getting him a date. Matthew! Amanda had a baby girl. She's fine. The baby's fine. We go into the hospital. I'll call you later. Yeah, okay, Dad. I'll, I'll call you later. I mean, oh, go on. Oh, my this is oh, wonderful. You know what? This is really great, Chip. Damn, your sister and her husband have been through so much this year. I'm so happy. A niece. I have a niece. I... <gasps> Matt, we've got to buy a bouquet of flowers. we got, we got to bring them to the, oh, the hospital. And, and, and we got, they should be all pink. What sure, sure. Doing? I'm calling the party phone. This ought to be a great conversation starter. Party phone. Yeah, this is Captain Cool. I just called in to tell everybody the good news that I am an uncle. My sister just had a little baby girl. That's wonderful, Captain Cool. Do you like babies? Ruby Hur, is that you? Well, I've been trying all day. I... It's good to hear from you. Well, here I am. 
You still haven't told me whether or not you like babies. Well, this one's a girl, and I, I, I like girls no matter what age they are. Problems, pimples, and cellulite. So, Riviera, do you call every time at this time? <laughs> no, I just call when I don't have anything to do. In fact, I gotta go. Wait a minute, wait. Hey, come on, I'll give someone else a chance to talk. Hey, hey, why don't you shut up? Congratulations, Uncle Cool. Bye, everybody. What? Riviera? Forget it, she's gone. Cool, old pal. Tracy. Now, where'd she go? Oh, tell her about Kevin tomorrow.